Hello, this video is going to overview the annotate.net Chrome extension. For a long time, I've wanted a tool that will allow me to annotate over Google Slides while in present mode, and I finally have found one that will work wonders, and I don't have to erase anything going from slide to slide. The website is annotate.net. You will have to sign in and register for a free account in order to use the Chrome extension. I was able to just log in with Google. Once logged in, it will look like this. For today's video, I'm not even going to use the website. I'm going to solely focus on the Chrome extension portion. And I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store. From here, I'm going to search for the annotate.net Chrome extension, click on it, add it to Chrome. I, of course, already have mine added. That's why mine says remove. But go ahead and add it to Chrome. This is what the icon looks like when you want to access annotate.net. I have my Google Slides pulled up. This is just a demo slide set. I'm going to put it in slideshow mode and I'm going to head over to my next slide just because it's a map. And here's my annotate.net toolbar. So when I click on it, it gives me tools. Now here's the thing with annotate.net, it only in the free version only gives you black. So I can only annotate with black. I can't change my colors. If I upgraded to the full version, it would give me other colors. So for example, if I click here, you see there are other colors, but if I were to click on red, it tells me I need to upgrade. For my purpose today and for when I use it, I don't really need to have other colors. So I'm perfectly happy with the black because of how the tool works. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I've selected black. I'm just gonna circle this area. We'll say that's where the Incan civilization is. Maybe I'll write something else on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go to the next slide and look, the annotations are not there. So they, I did not have to erase them to move forward. I didn't have to do anything, they don't stick. But if I were to go back to the previous slide, they are still there. Now when I exit out of present mode, it will ask me if I want to keep the annotations. I'm going to say no because I want to be able to use this presentation over and over again. So anytime I want to access annotate.net, I can just come up here and have it show the toolbar. I can collapse the toolbar just so that it's that little piece right there. I can show the toolbar. I can move it around in case it's in my way for anything. I just happened to show the pen mode, but you do have a highlighter, you do have an eraser, and you do have written text. But again, you can only write in black. So if I want to change a color, it will make me upgrade. I hope you like this tool. It's such an easy way to annotate over top of Google Slides or any website in Chrome. Annotate.net has been a saving grace for me, so I hope you like it as well.